New details emerging in a missing person case we've been tracking since last summer. Today, four people answered to charges in connection with the murder and mutilation of Carrie Mello. The 36-year-old Cranston man was last seen in August. His disappearance triggered an investigation involving both Rhode Island and Massachusetts police. Eyewitness News reporter Perry Russum spoke with neighbors of the men charged in the crime. He's in Warwick with the details that are new tonight. The attorney general says the motive for the alleged murder was stolen marijuana. And we are now hearing from a neighbor who lives next door to where police say the killing happened. State police say it was inside this home on Shannon Drive in Warwick where Carrie Mello was brutally killed and then dismembered. Four people have been charged with murder. Surprised, you know, he's always been a good neighbor. That good neighbor Mark Hanna is talking about is Al Berea, seen here. I live here, this is my house. State police say he was inside Berea's home where Mello was murdered. Medical examiners determined that the cause of death was multiple violent acts, including fatal stab wounds to the torso. State police tell us Mello's body was then dismembered with remains found washed up on Westport and Little Compton beaches. An upper torso of a human body without a head and limbs was found by the Massachusetts State Police. Also arrested and charged with murder is Berea's son, Jamie Berea, who Mello allegedly stole marijuana and cash from, as well as Francisco Concepcion and Greg Bastillo. All four are being held without bail. It's strange. I mean, you don't, you don't expect it. It just catches you off guard. There's a family left behind that is feeling a lot of pain. State police say while making their arrests early Thursday morning, they found two guns, including an assault rifle that was just feet away from one of the suspects. In Warwick with the Mobile Newsroom, Perry Russell, Eyewitness News.